Three Democratic candidates vying for an open house seat, and not just any seat. It's the seat held by arguably the most influential Democrat in Sussex County, former Speaker of the House Pete Schwarzkopf. Coast TV News anchor Matt Pensick shows us who is endorsing who for District 14 in the Rehoboth area and some of the tension involved. The sun sizzling on Rehoboth Beach, and it is the Democratic primary race in this area, District 14, that has been bringing some heat heading into the home stretch. The candidates, a progressive activist, a longtime congressional aide in Washington, and a former statewide office holder ousted after being found guilty of conflict of interest during her time as state auditor. Yet Kathy McGinnis is the one that has the endorsement of the man who currently holds that seat, Pete Schwarzkopf. He has been our champion for 22 years holding that seat. And um, I believe that his endorsement carries so much weight and so much value. He has a, a friendship and, a, and, a, and political connections to, to, to uh, Kathy McGinnis, which is fine. I understand how that works. They're old friends. Um, I wasn't, nobody was surprised about that. There was a back and forth between Snyder Hall and Schwarzkopf over endorsements. We have a very, not a very harmonious relationship, let's put it that way. In August, Schwarzkopf issued this statement. I do not support Claire Snyder Hall in this primary election. Truth is that she and I are not friends at all, which was countered by Snyder Hall. In her statement, she said, I have never, ever said that Pete Schwarzkopf endorsed me, nor have I purposely implied that he endorsed me. In spite of the disagreement on the backing of the former Speaker of the House, all three are Democrats, and there are areas where they have common ground. Access to health care is one of the big issues that I get, particularly as we have an aging demographic here. Folks are worried about how... Where do I have to go to see a specialist? Do I have to drive to Wilmington or Philadelphia all the time? Can we get more specialists here? We have a health care crisis here in Sussex County. Uh, folks ha are choosing between medicine and food. Folks can't get providers. We, we need a talent retainer here. We have to protect reproductive rights for women. We have to strengthen, uh, or get more health care providers, and also uh, provide more resources for the public schools. Similar goals, different approaches, and with an open seat at stake, House District 14 is one to watch for Tuesday's primary. I'm Matt Pensick, Coast TV News. Early voting wraps up in Delaware on September 8th. We have more information about the House District 14 race on our Coast TV News app. For details about all the candidates and where they stand on key issues, we've really broken it down for you. You just go to coasttv.com slash decision 2024.